Hey everyone, it's Becca. I'm back with another video. I'm sorry the back of my room is messy. There's not much I can do about that um, with having a roommate and all. Um, and I was just too lazy to, you know, whatever. This is the best lighting I've found so far. Oh, you can't tell me my battery's low. Okay, I'm going to try to do this quickly. Oh, this is so annoying. My battery's running low. But anyway, apologies, apologies of everything. I don't have any makeup on. I did yesterday, but um, I just couldn't film. You know, it's it's hard with roommates and everything and having so much work with college and I think I just got to take the moments I can get. So I hope you guys understand with that. Um, but thank you so much for, um, if you've watched my past couple of videos, my declutter series. It's actually got a lot of hits, at least for me, a lot of views rather. Um, so that's really exciting. I'm glad you guys enjoy those because I definitely enjoy making them and I love watching declutter videos. So um, yeah, just let me know if you guys have any you know, recommendations on what other kinds of um, videos you guys would like. I definitely do want to do some reviews, but um, those do take a little more planning. Anyway, let me get into it. These are my September Sword Play and Ipsy um, unbaggings. Um, these are super late. I know we're early in October. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just about to get my um, my October Ipsy soon, so I know I'm super behind. Anyway, starting out with Ipsy. This bag's not my favorite. I don't care for it, but it is what it is. First thing in here is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. Not really big into hair stuff, and I have so many little samples, but there's that. Living Proof is a good brand. This is the O Thermal Levine um, Hydrating Serum. This reminds me of my time in France, because I use this brand a lot. It is a French brand. Um, so this is kind of a little nostalgic for me. Um, again, not super into skincare, even though I should be, but all right there. And those two look like both deluxe size samples. The, the serum might be full size, I'm not sure. Um, but if it's for the face, then it's probably um, a deluxe size sample. Next thing is this Dr. G Sensitive Daily Safe BB SPF 30 stuff. <laughs> Looks like it has a tint, um, but I'm not sure what shade it's in. So I'll leave that down below if I do know. Um, but there's the dot right on my hand. Actually, looks like a great color for me, which is super surprising because I am so pale. So um, that's exciting. And then. Ooh, this is super exciting. I actually I didn't know I was gonna get this. It's the super the it cosmetics superhero mascara. I've heard really good things about this. Um, and I just love trying more it cosmetics stuff anyway, because I really do like their philosophy and their brand and stuff like that. So I'm super, super excited about this. I would consider doing a review on that, but um, I find mascaras are really hit and miss person to person, and then also sometimes just myself I end up changing my mind. But let me know if you guys are interested in that. And then this last thing is the Pixie by Petra Lipstick. Matte Luster Lipstick in Rose Naturelle. Um, let's see if quickly here I can take the plastic off and get into it. Okay, just taking it off with the plastic right there. Don't mind my bruise on my hand. I don't know what happened. I'm falling apart, basically. Um, but anyway, that is Ipsy. Not my favorite, but again, not terrible. I'm super... The thing I'm most excited about is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, and it looks like none of that was full size. Next thing is for play. It's, um, the theme for this month is the Unbasics... The Unbasic Basics. It's kind of cool. And I already took my Sephora play card out. Um, so I did peek a little. I'm sorry. I was just was sitting here for so long, I couldn't help it. Um, this is the bag this month. It says, this is not just a lipstick. I love that. I've been loving their cute little sayings on the bags. The first thing I got was, oh, interesting, also a Living Proof. I guess Living Proof was, um, Living Proof was hooking up with the subscription brands. But this is the Perfect Hair Day Nightcap Overnight Protector. That's interesting. Um, um, it's more of a mask, so that's actually kind of more unique in my opinion. Um, the next thing here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I do love this brow gel. I've actually been trying the wax, um, not her wax specifically, but just wax in general. Um, but typically if I were to use brow gel, it would be this one. It makes your hair stay in place, and I do love that. Next thing in here is Cafundi Tattoo Liner Trooper. 
Um, it's great sample size. I actually already have this, and it's actually not my favorite, so I might end up passing this along. Um, but that's amazing, because that's such a cult favorite. That That's amazing. Those Anastasia and the Kat Von D is great. Next thing here is Dr. Jart, Jart Water Drop Hydrating Moisturizer. This actually seems very kind of similar, the two bags. Um, so... Um, interesting. It's actually a decent sized sample. It's like hefty. I'm not going to open that um, just for sake of time here. And let's see. Um, the other thing is this Four Rouge Brilliance Rouge Shine. Oh, that's the front. And we'll get the color name here. Um, or maybe not, but it's really pretty. Oh, I think it's number 14. Um, let's put that right here. It is more sheer, but it's just shiny, nice, uh, kind of baby pink. So that's cute. And then the, um, the fragrance sample is Tory Birch, um, Jolie Fleur Vert, um, or Jolie Fleur Verte. Um, you know, wanna enunciate, whatever. Let's smell that. Oh, it's actually interesting. I'm bad at describing scents, but it's like a fresh, fruity. It reminds me of something, but I can't pick it up. But anyway, I'm so worried that my battery is going to die. So those are the two bags. Um, not my absolute favorite for either of them for some reason, but these, just because I've already tried this and like, this is amazing, but it's because I already know I like it. So I mean, those would be the two I'm most excited about there. Um... And then I guess, like I said, it would be the It Cosmetics Mascara for Ipsy. So, honestly, I'd probably say Sephora one for me this time. Um, but uh, it's actually, mm, never mind. It's it's a close call because I'm super excited about that is It Cosmetics um, Mascara. So, yeah, like I said, not my favorite, but still love these. They're amazing. Um, and who knows what October will hold for both of them. I'm excited to see. So, anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, bye, everyone.